At Seneca York, the college is holding an event called International Day. There is first come to students with all different types of cultural food. Different music. Hey, Seneca York College has these wonderful dancers. Would you be able to tell us your name, what the dance was about, and just everything about what has happened today with International Day? Sure. Uh, my name is Joanne Camilleri. This is my colleague. Hi, I'm Stasia. And what was your dance um, background all about today? Uh, I guess it was predominantly an Egyptian-based performance, uh, fused. So we, um, Stacy and I, love experimenting. But for the most part, the music was Egyptian. Um, again, it was a fusion to the beginning uh, was a little bit cut. So we started with the wings. Then we did a drum solo, and then the last song is sort of like the Arabic pop song, party song that we do, uh, sort of dance around with people. That is beautiful, and I was just wondering, with your dresses, could you tell me a little bit more background about it? Sure. Um, so, we're wearing coins, <laughs> and we've got some, some of the, the jewels. There's a, yeah, there's a bit of a story in terms of the costumes and how they came about and it's a little bit of a tale um, it was and, and uh, because belly dance was always respected by the awalim which are the, the teachers who would sing dance and could compose uh, and they were in the temples and when they were put on the streets because of the taxes and so on and so forth so i apologize this is going on but i know that's perfect <laughs> um, because i was thinking about the coins i am partial to the coins and then they went into the beads and then they got more expensive and then now there are jewels of Stacy's costumes with the beautiful jewels. But the actual dance went on to the street and it was all that they knew what to do was to perform on the streets and that's even the negative connotation that happened with belly dance that came to the West. But people would throw coins and the coins back then had little holes and they would take the coins and sew them to their costumes and that's how the coins came about. That's and Stacy and I both love the coins. And we like to make our own questions. Yeah. <laughs> guys. Did you guys make these ones or? Uh, I made this one, yep. That's, That's beautiful. So it's fabulous. Mine is made by a, a costume designer in Toronto. So some was pur purchased, some was this, the bra was made, and I mix and match. That's beautiful. Thank you so much for answering our questions and thank you so much for performing for Seneca York College. Thank you thank for you. having us. Thank you. So there you have it. That's one of the two dancers that came to Seneca York during International Day. Uh, there's lots of fun music and dancers and I'm going to go ahead and get myself a plate of food before it is all gone. So that is the report for Seneca Saying News.